So now what I need to do is link my main document to both the CSS file for this to give me these, I don't know, whatever styling is on here. And I'm also going to need to, I need the feed functionality. So I need to also link that to my uh, main style, main HTML. So let me start like I always do since this is going to a new phase of the of the project I'm going to create a duplicate of my current website and let me name it five and I'll call this uh, flicker flicker and then uh, working just so I did I spell that right yeah okay so here we go oh. I don't need to do it that way. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's see. Let me just go through Dreamweaver this way. Um, here we go. All right. Oh, you know what? I better move before I link. I link these files to my project. I need to actually move them into my project folder. So, um, okay. I'm gonna move this thing's style.css and the Flickr feed into my folders which uh, since I'm doing that I gotta keep in mind that I may be potentially breaking it if some of this script is looking for um, if inside of the JavaScript file it's like linking directly to my CSS or something like that or there's you know I could potentially have some path conflicts here but but since there's no image folder or anything like that I think I think I, I may be okay but just just throwing it out there uh, style that CSS is a little vague for me so I am actually going to rename that file to jflickerfeed.css and pop it right there into my CSS folder Here's my the JavaScript that actually does it. Let me take the minified version. I'll pop that into my scripts. Uh, I won't need the setup, but it may. I'm not going to get rid of it or anything because this may be useful as examples on how he's um, using it in other places. That's fine. Okay. All right. So let me let me just now go ahead and, and link to this thing. So first order of business is linking to the CSS file just copy and pasted my other link deleted the href for it and now I'm gonna browse for uh, let's see where this is and when I browse for my other CSS file jQuery feed okay save that that looks good and now I'm going to do the same here. So I'll leave my script kind of like down at the end over here for my my own eyes and get rid of this. And let's see where I'm browsing for. Let's go here. Let me make sure I'm grabbing the right thing. Scripts. J Flickr feed. Okay. And okay, now I'm linked in. So let me actually see if if I got it all right well first off I could just at least see if it added these so here we go J Flickr feed it's there so my links are correct and um, where's the jQuery um, the CSS rather J Flickr feed CSS there it is okay yeah look what it's doing here interesting I just just popping my head over here looking at this this in the jflickerfeed.css, there's already stuff that's specific to what I have in my document. This is going to be an issue, so let me comment this out. Um, I'm, I'm con even though I haven't used the script yet, I'm confident that this is not helping me out any because you know this is the body HTML container which I actually a div ID that I have in my document nh1 and they're kind of setting some styles on this for me already so that's I don't like that uh, dot thumbs and cycle I, I you know I certainly don't have these classes in my page so they'll be okay anyway I'm gonna take that out because that's in my eyes that's gonna potentially be an issue for me um, so let's see so my script.js 
I'm going to have to put some kind of uh, example that they have similar to what you know just to get it working so let me go to uh, I guess I'll just open these two up just to see what they're doing because I'm just trying to quickly take an example so basic use why don't I take this right here it says basic use and whatever they have they're targeting the div container basic use I'm gonna put this in my um, in my script folder but I need to target my photos so now if all works right I should have some ah look at that yeah yeah that's exactly what they had on their site so you know I actually know it's working at this point now this is not anything that I, I first off they're not the pictures I want them to be and they're not the uh, they're not aligned the way I want them to be but uh, at the very least I've I know I've installed it properly into my page and that it's working so the next step is going to be do a little light styling and actually get specific with what photos I want.